welcome in this video we are going to discuss about the oxyacetylene cutting or it is also known as gas cutting first try to understand the principle behind it we know oxygen has strong affinity for iron and steel at high temperature oxygen forms the iron oxide this iron oxide has got low melting temperature by accelerating the formation of the iron oxide we are going to cut the material let's try to understand the procedure adopted for this initially the material is preheated with the help of oxyacetylene flame which is similar to the one which is been used for the welding purpose once the material reaches the red hot condition that is its temperature is around 760 degree centigrade to 870 degree centigrade the pure oxygen is blown on the surfaces at that instant the iron oxide forms which results into the cutting action of the material let's look at the design of the torch which is used for cutting purposes the torch has got levers for the supply of acetylene oxygen and there is one more lever is there which is used to supply the pure oxygen you find there there are two small pipes are there which are used for getting the oxyacetylene frame for the preheating purposes the pipe which is in the bigger size is used to supply the pure oxygen into the flame for the formation of iron oxide instantly let's look at the details about the nozzle nozzle assembly there are two nozzles are there which are concentric to each other the small holes are used to supply the oxygen and acetylene which is been used for the preheating purposes whereas the central hole is used to supply the oxygen when the oxyacetylene preheats the material when the oxygen is supplied instantly the material cut into the two pieces by the formation of iron oxide this process is very versatile due to its simplicity that several cutting machines have been developed based on this principle which automatically control the movement of the torch to cut any desired shape thank you for watching this particular video